Hello there. My name is Tim Fulcher and I'm from ebiz for everyone.com. That's E B I Z for E V E R Y one dot com. Now in this little video presentation I'm going to take you a little bit further on how to create your own web page. Okay, let's have a look at a simple style sheet because I want to show you how easy style sheets are to use in your web page. Remember the style sheet goes immediately after where you've got the slash title bit on your page and before the slash head. So we just had a few extra lines before the slash head and put your style sheet in there. Okay, now let's look at a simple style sheet and I'll show you the code here now. Now what this means is that when you put your web page together, when you're adding the actual content in the body part of your web page, you don't need lots and lots of code. All you need is at the start of a big heading at the top of the page you put h1, at the end of it you put slash h1. For your subtitle you put a h2, and then when you finish the subtitle you put slash h2, and then for each paragraph you just start the paragraph with your normal little p tag, and at the end of each paragraph you put a slash p. And that's all the code that you need. Now I want you to notice that we start off the style sheet with an ordinary tag called style, but then we add the words type equals text slash CSS. Now I hope you can see that we've now got three lines. That's all it is, three lines of code. I've kept it as simple as I can for you. And these three lines of code start, the first one starts H1, because this is where we're going to set up the style for the H1 tag. And then we've got H2 on the second line, and this sets up the formatting for uh, the H2 tag, which is a subtitle tag. And then in the third line, we've got the P tag, which is just setting up the formatting for your P or your paragraphs. Okay, now, let's just have a look at this code a little bit more carefully. There's not much to it, but I want to make sure you don't make any mistakes in typing it in. Now, we start with H1, and the first thing you notice after H1 is we have a curly bracket. Now, here I have my keyboard, I want to make sure you know where you can find a curly bracket. And basically it's just after the P on your computer. So just after the P on your computer keyboard we have two brackets that we can use. If you just press it normally you'll get the square bracket, but we want the curly bracket. And to get the curly bracket you press the shift key which is the key here with an arrow pointing upwards. Okay, there's also a shift key over to, to the left hand side here, uh, with, which also has a, a, uh, an arrow pointing upwards. They both do the same job. Now what you do is you just press that button down and you hold it down, and then you press this button next to the P, and that will give you your opening curly bracket. Okay, now if you look at the code now carefully, you will see that I've got font family, 
followed by a colon. Now again, we've got to find the colon on the keyboard. And as luck would have it, it's just underneath the P this time. But again, we have to press the Shift key first, and then we we'll press the key below the P, and that will give us the colon. Okay, so we've got fam, font, dash, family, colon, verdana. And that's the type of font. Verdana is the type of font, and that's the font we're going to use. Okay. And after Verdana, we've then got the semicolon, which is simply the button below the P. If you press that button below the P, you will get um, a semicolon. Okay? So that gives us font-family colon, Verdana semicolon, then text-align, and remember there's only one L in a line, A-L-I-G-N. Then we've got colon followed by left and then a semicolon. And to end the style declaration we need the closing curly bracket, which is the shift key, which is here. And we want the button which is two along to the right after the P, which is that one there. If you hold the shift key and press that down, you will get the closing curly bracket. Okay? Now, if you look at the other uh, tags that I've listed there in the style declarations, you will see that they're all very similar, and they all do a very similar job. The, the top heading is simply aligned to the center, the subheading is aligned to the left, and the paragraph is aligned to be justified, which means that both ends of the lines in your web page will all be equal to each other, all be look neat, just like it does in a book, rather than jagged, like it tends to look when you use a typewriter. Okay? Now let's just have a look at the full code that I've put now for this new easy web page that you can create. So this hopefully will introduce you to the world of style sheets and how easy it is if you use a style sheet to quickly you know, in five minutes, you can create your own web page very quickly and very easily. Okay, thanks for watching this uh, video. My name is Tim Fulcher, and I'm from ebiz 4 Thanks. Bye.